All right, Paul here, doing my first mock climb of the year, getting ready for the hunting season, baby. And just wanted to show a little bit of my setup. I am running the Long Wolf Custom Gear Ambush Platform. Now the cool thing about this platform is if you have weak side shots, you can literally stand up and turn around on this thing and take weak side shots all day long out of it, which is really nice. Second part, I'm running a cut down API. I think it's 20 inches, maybe, with a four step aider. And I'm running a one stick. My saddle is an H2 with two cheap Amazon dump pouches. And to get out of the tree, I am running a Madrock Safeguard, an eight millimeter Oplux, I think that's how you say it, rope Sterling Oplux. And I'm telling you, it is, everybody's worried about side load on a carabiner. There's hardly any pressure on this carabiner other than in the directions it's supposed to be. Smaller trees, maybe not, but who's gonna saddle climb in a smaller tree? Not me. So, I'll take that extra rope and I'll attach it up here on a hook to get it out of the way. But I just wanted to do, I always practice climbing and shooting and climbing and shooting and climbing and shooting. And so, the versatility of the saddle is I have shots. Here's my tree. Without without any kind of movement hardly whatsoever, I can shoot from about nine o'clock till about mm, say 8:30. And then if they come in behind me, which is no problem, kneel on the tree. Rotate around, foot on the platform, knee on the tree, and I've got all the way around from there to there. This thing takes side pressure like crazy. Then I got my step where I can put my knee inside. I can take the weak side shots. I can literally stand up on my platform, shorten my bridge, and I can turn all the way around and take the weak side shot over here if I want to. So, I'm going to put all this on a scale to see what the stick, the platform, the saddle with the ropes and everything weigh. I think I weighed it last year and I think all of it combined, which it was a different platform that was heavier than this one and a little smaller. I think I come in at like 12 pounds with stick, saddle and platform ready to walk into the woods. I think my complete weight of my stuff last year with bow, camera gear, everything was about 23 pounds. It'll be a little beefier than that this year because the bow setup I'm using just a little heavier by a pound or so. But this is what I'll do several times a week until hunting season. As I come in here and I get used to my equipment, I mean, there's nothing more frightening to me than not trusting what you're using. So, I mean, that's from archery equipment to climbing equipment, anything goes without saying, but practice with your stuff 
and I just like being in a tree. I love climbing. I don't know why. I come out here and climb. I climb two or three times a week. I'll do it now to the beginning of the season just to just to be out here. I love being out in nature, trying new things. So got the old here, and uh, next time I come up here, I'll bring my bow with me. I'll set a target somewhere around right there, around that 15 to 20 yard mark. I think I it's about 20 yards, right edge of the woods right there, and about 15 right here. And I got shots over here that I can take, and I'll have the wife move my targets around for me. All that good stuff, so. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you a little bit I'm excited for season this year. I'm gonna do something I hadn't done in a while. I'm gonna shoot a compound for a little bit, just for the fun of it. Brother Santo let me borrow one for uh, till infinity, I guess. Um, and it's a it's a shooting machine, as it should be. But uh, that's why my setup would be a little heavier this year when I go to tote that thing in the woods. It's all good though. I still got me a still got me a recurve set up and it will definitely get playing time but anyway guys i'm gonna repel down here just a minute that's so fun the worst thing i hate about coming down at dark and at night is it being so dark you can't see climbing down i hate that that's my that's my biggest fear <laughs> is falling coming down the tree after dark i can climb to the heavens up there doesn't bother me it's coming down i hate it i hate using multiple sticks because if you stretch them unless you want to carry five or six or seven sticks you know and have a complete ladder which is no problem coming down that way but when you use aiders like i do when you you know use three sticks and an aider that aider can get kind of sketchy and dark trying to find the footholds and stuff like that some people don't have a problem with it but paul helms don't like it and uh People worry about how hard one sticking is. I am a sweaty joker. I mean, I sweat buckets. And so it's probably 90 out here today, humid. And you can see my shirt. And it's got a little sweat on it, granted. But I'll tell you what, I have climbed multi stick before and been soaking wet. I mean, I come up the tree and when I get tired, I put my knees in the tree and I just sit in the saddle. I don't have to have my feet. Take my feet and swing them around the tree. Now I just sit in the saddle. Let the saddle do the work. So, if you ain't never gave it a whirl, go buy you. I don't want to say an inexpensive saddle because you don't want to buy cheap crap climbing up a tree. To, you know, with your life depending on it. But this H2, I got it. You can go to the Facebook. They've got a Facebook page, and that's where you order from. And I got this one for 160, and it's built like a tank. I mean, I've I've had the the H2, and I tried that method from Latitude Outdoors, and I just didn't for one stick in with that double panel. Neither panel was really wide; it was comfortable to sit in, but for multi for you know for one stick climbing and hanging in it and putting all my weight in it, you know, I just didn't really care for it. It didn't stay in place for me good enough, so back to the h2 i went i mean i'd like to try some others like they got that cruiser and a couple of other ones that that seem to be pretty nice but i mean they're 250 some 260 bucks for a saddle this h2 was 169 dollars i think or 170 i mean not much at all it might even be cheaper than that i ain't checked but i like it so i'll be doing some more of these short videos i'll be doing some gear reviews and uh, stuff like that coming up so I just figured I'd get you in the tree with me got me a little Prusik knot right there to hold when you take when you take tension off that sometimes your rope would fall now I can take tension off there sit back in it my rope don't want to slide down the tree on me no no tricks no tricks so uh anyway more content coming and I'm gonna get down here and go grill some burgers out but anyway signing out I'll shoot straight God bless.